Understanding, I didn't mean to, navigating apologies and intentions in English. Hello, and welcome to today's lesson. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, I didn't mean to, and understand its use in everyday English. This phrase is crucial when you want to apologize or explain that something happened unintentionally. Let's dive in and unravel the layers of this commonly used expression. I didn't mean to, is a phrase used to express that an action was unintentional or accidental. It's a way of saying that the outcome was not planned or foreseen. This phrase is often used to apologize or to clarify that there was no ill intent behind an action. For example, I didn't mean to spill the coffee. I didn't mean to offend you with my words. In these sentences, the speaker emphasizes that the actions, spilling the coffee or offending someone, were not done on purpose. The phrase, I didn't mean to, can take on different nuances depending on the context. Understanding the situation and the tone of the speaker is crucial. 1. Apologizing. When someone wants to apologize for an action that caused inconvenience or harm, even if it was accidental. 2. Example, I didn't mean to step on your toes. I'm so sorry. 3. Clarifying. When someone wants to ensure that their actions are not misunderstood or misinterpreted. 4. Example. I didn't mean to imply that your work was inadequate. I was just offering constructive feedback. While the phrase, I didn't mean to, is straightforward, the speaker's tone and body language can significantly impact how the message is received. A sincere tone and open body language can convey genuine remorse or clarification. In contrast, a dismissive tone or closed body language might suggest insincerity. Understanding the different ways to express unintentional actions can enrich your communication skills. Here are some variations. It was not my intention to. I had no intention of. It was unintentional. Each of these phrases can be used in similar contexts but may vary slightly in formality or emphasis. Today, we explored the phrase, I didn't mean to, and its various nuances in the English language. Remember, communication is not just about the words you use but also about the context, tone, and body language. We hope this video helps you navigate English conversations more confidently, especially when expressing apologies or clarifications. Happy learning, and see you in our next lesson!